and that fraction is not going to be the what we thought a couple of years ago of three percent it's going to be more like 20 or 30 percent or maybe 40 percent of the country is drinking this stuff and that's very dangerous i mean that's just you know we know that this has health effects adverse health effects we know that if you have it in your blood you are more likely to have immune deficiencies you're more likely to have certain types of cancer and certain types of endocrine disruption uh, all that sort of bad stuff and so we want to you know, as a as a nation, we want to get away from this, and we are finally realizing that. Um, the, this is one that uh, the first rule the EPA has ever proposed in 23 years, new rule in water, has been the PFAS one. They did a revision 12 years ago on the lead levels, but they haven't done a new rule in 23 years. And so this is the seriousness with which they're taking it. They're actually going to regulate it, which they've almost never done. They never regulated PFO and PFOS when it was a chemical um, because that was just voluntarily removed by the company uh, rather than trying to take them to court or anything like that. They just you know voluntarily removed it because they had 12,000 others to switch to. So it wasn't a big deal for the company. But for for the for the for those of us that live in the environment, which includes all the firefighters, we're getting it from our drinking water. We're getting it from our textiles, from our carpets at home. Oh, and yeah, by the way, <laughs> you guys work with foam. So that's what people were worried about. So several people have gone on and done firefighter studies of, of blood levels of PFAS and firefighters.